Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a hydroponic system out of some old juice bottles that'll cost you about two bucks a pop. All it takes is a couple tubes and here's my basil plant. So this one is complete and here is one I haven't painted yet so you can see how it's actually working. and I'll show you how to build it. All right, back to the setup that I haven't painted yet. You can see it's actually three pieces. A base, the part that actually holds the water, and the part that holds the plant. So to start off, we'll cut a hole in the top of a juice bottle. The first step is to take your juice bottle and you'll see a circle here at the bottom. Go ahead and cut a circle out in the bottom of this, following the circle. Try to stay on the inside as close as you can. You want this circle to be as small as possible. Alright, now that that's complete, and our circle has been cut out, take the next one, and we're going to cut the top off right here at the square line. You see there's a line that goes down and turns square, let's go ahead and cut that out at the square. Now you can see this is pretty wide, it's going kind of square out there, and this has been cut perfectly square. So now this should fit inside of this really nicely. Yep. Okay, now that you have the top piece that you cut off of here, and you have the circle that you cut out of this piece, and that fits in like that, you now want this whole thing to fit inside of this. So take a pair of scissors and cut right on the corners about an inch down on three of the corners. Just like that. Now this will fit inside nice and snug. Just like that. And you have a good base. Now that we have the complete setup here, I'm going to take a sharpie and I'm going to mark with a pen about half an inch below the plastic line just so you can know where to start drilling holes. So I'm going to drill a bunch of holes through this starting here and below and through this cap and I'll start that now. Okay I'm going to start drilling this now using a 3 16 drill bit. Now all my holes are drilled through, and you want to make sure that each one of these little compartments has a hole drilled through as well, because water can get stuck in those little pieces. So now that that's complete, we'll get the tubes cut in length. Now to cut the tube to length, I have my half inch outside diameter and 3 8 inside diameter tube, and what we want to do is create a piece just like this out of this piece right here. So first thing we're going to do is take our tubing and stick it down into the bottom of this tube. I'll take the base off to make it, let's see what's going on. So stick the tube down inside and just measure about where you want it to cut off. So I'm going to put mine just right there. Cut it with a pair of scissors right there at the top. 
just like that. Okay, so now my piece of tube is cut. It just goes down to the bottom like so. Okay, now that my tube has been cut to size, I'm now gonna make it fit and fold inside just like this one does on here. So here's the line where the water will be able to fall in. So that's where I'm gonna cut my little tube slot so the tube can fit in there. So just take a knife and make a slit. All right, let's see if that fits. You don't want the tube to be creased too much because you want air and water to get in there fairly easily. All right, that's a good fit. You can see it's just barely in there, about an inch, or about a half inch. And now I can fold that down and stick it inside. Just like that. All right, you can see the tube that I chose doesn't like to stay where it's put. So I'm gonna put another two holes on both sides right here and zip tie it again holding it down in place just like this one that's the way it keeps it nice and straight down so now you can see I have a hole right there and there and there and there that I can use for zip ties okay now to put the zip ties on here just put one slide it in here and fit it over the top of this guy to help hold it down so it doesn't want to shoot up it'll be straight like this so those are in there like that I'll tie it shut not too tight but that should do there's that and I will fold it down and do another zip tie right here go and then we'll zip tie that guy in place like that cut. so now we have our first piece complete zip tied together so it'll be facing down for the most part and it'll fit into bottom crevice there like that as you can see here I actually made it a little too long my tube because it's already down at the bottom and it doesn't want to sit all the way so I'm gonna cut about half an inch off my tube so it'll sit nicer inside there just a little bit at a time start with that much yeah that works so I just need to cut off a little piece and now it sits nice and snug in there like that the next and final step to make our piece like this so far we have this piece here looking like this and now we need to measure off a piece of aquarium tubing that will fit here down at the bottom, go in about an inch and a half, and then fold up, go up the top like this, and then come out the top wherever you want to cut it yourself. I put mine about three to four inches out. So I'm going to just cut mine just about right there. And now I will zip tie it all in place. So I like to put a zip tie about uh, just about right there and that just keeps the tube from being able to fall out from the bottom of the tube So we'll just do that not too tight, but see how it just keeps it in there. So now it's not going anywhere and Then the next one I'll zip tie To this spout right here again Or just find another hole. Well, I got two right here that are next to each other 
I'm gonna use these two. And zip tie the tube in place up here. Okay, so now we have our tubes in place with our zip tie holding them in. And I'll cut off the slack. And we're done. So this now goes inside of here, like that. And that goes inside of here. There we go. And we're done. Okay, now that it's complete, I'll add my little air valve to the top here. And let's try this guy out, see if it works. All right, it's working. Comes out. Let's see. And there it is. This took about 20 minutes to make and cost about two bucks. Now I have three of them. Okay, now that it's complete, you can take a piece of tape, like I did here, and put it down the center, and paint the whole thing black. And that'll keep light from getting inside, and it'll stop algae from growing inside where this water is. And then you'll want to take some hydrogen, like I did with this one, and add some kind of hydrogen or some kind of media, and add your plant. And that's all you need. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Bye.